Hey there, this is Adam. I'm the co-founder and CEO of the Ads Lab, and uh, I'm going to just explain how this system works. Um, I'm going to just give you an overview of um, all the technical aspects and, um, you know, show you um, how the system is going to be working in the background and really kind of explain um, under, the, under the hood, so to speak. So um, just very quickly, I'm just going to draw this very quick diagram, but basically how this works is we're going to give you access to a pixel right so let's say this is your website here um we're gonna give you access to a pixel and uh you're gonna put it on a website right so this is our pixel and what it's gonna do is is a few things so the first thing that's gonna happen is this pixel any traffic that hits this website right as long as it is um usa based any traffic that hits this website it's going to fire what is called an m d5 right m d5 now an md5 is essentially um a uh, it's like a a piece of data that we get which is really just associated with the device okay so what we're going to do is basically um any you know any traffic that's us based we're going to fire this pixel it's called an md5 and it's going to give us the device all right once we fire the md5 what happens here is this is going to, so we've got the MD5 here. This is going to then bounce to an internal database that we have, okay? So there's an internal database here. And in this database, we have over 270 million users that we track, right? And this is um, about 1.9 trillion behaviors in that, in that database. Now, um, within this database, so we've got 270 million people, uh, we've got about 40 billion emails, right? And I'll show you why this is important in a second, because this is all about linkage, right? It's all about finding like how many points of data we have on a single person. So they're able to pull that person, um, you know, into our graph and match them. So what happens is here is somebody lands on the website, it's going to trigger an MD5. That MD5 is going to trigger to the graph here. And then we're going to resolve the identity and give you a full lookup of that person. Okay. So we'll give you their name, number, email, et cetera. All right. So the biggest thing I want you guys to understand is there is two processes going on here, right? So we've got one match rate to device. And then two, we've got match rate to actual identity. All right. And that's what's happening. So I'm just going to jump in and I'll, I'll show you how this looks. So I'm just inside the ads lab now. Okay, so I'm in the ads lab with one of my websites and uh, I've gone over to here, I'm inside the audiences and I'm inside known devices. All right, so there's a few things going on here. So first of all, what we can see is we've had um, 1,250 gross pixel fires. Okay, this means that today that's how many times the pixel has fired. Now, um, it could be firing on every visitor and it could be firing on people that are going to multiple pages. We do that so that we can track the whole uh, journey of someone. So the thing that I want you to pay most attention here, don't worry about this, don't worry about this, is this metric, uh, this, uh, metric here. See, it says 38.82%. All right, so this means that of the traffic that has landed on the website, we have been able to match up 38% of the devices. Now, this is rather high. Um, most... You know, uh, most identity resolution platforms or most uh, identity graphs you deal with, the match rate of device is actually probably around 28%. Um, and this is like the big guys. This is like the multi-million dollar companies, right? So this is why we had to build this in-house because um, it's quite ahead of the curve, right? This is quite a high match rate in terms of devices. So what you can do then is if you head down here and I go to visitor profiles, and I'll flip that to load. So I'm inside visitor profiles. And I can see here, so of these devices, so about 816 devices, what we came up with, I've been able to uncover 609 identities, which are actual leads, right? So of these leads, you see here, that's about 66% match rate, which is extremely high. Um, I would say, honestly, like um, most platforms, and I'm just going to be real with you, most platforms going to match around 10%. That's like the industry average. Um, sometimes 30%. So if you to get 66% is just insane. Um, and the reason why this is so good is because we spent so much time piecing together all these different providers 
um, so that you're able to get the linkage data, right? Most providers might only have one endpoint they match to. We have like 15 plus. Okay, so you can see here, you've got a full record here. Everything's looking good. Um, and you can see the 66% match rate. Now, if you come in and you see this is really low, let's say you see this is like, I don't know, like 10%. That's still not bad because you can still use the data. But I encourage you to look at the known devices and look at the visitor profiles because you can see the, you can see the story of what's going on. Um, most you know providers aren't going to show you this. Uh, they're not going to show you how many devices they've matched up. They're just going to give you the raw leads like 24 hours later. This all happens in real time because we built our own environment. Okay, so that is how match rate works and that's how the graph works. So just understand this before you dive in that you understand, okay, cool, this is how it's working. Pixel fires, it goes on MD5, matches back to the graph and then gives you that identity. And you've got all these identities here and you'll notice we don't have a place to export them. Okay, and there's a reason for this. It's because we have so much data that we're tracking for a single person, right? There's almost about 10,000 fields that we track for one person um, that if you download it, the, the file is going to be too big. Um, you're not going to be able to do anything with it. So I'm going to show you how we set up a webhook instead so you can get all this feeded live um, and show you the most cost-effective way to do it. So this is part one, really understanding how the identity graph works and how we're matching data.